Hello everyone and welcome to my LEGO Technic channel. Recently I got quite a few rare LEGO motors. For example, the LEGO system 624 from I believe one of the first motorization sets released in 1996, 22 years ago. Can you actually imagine this? And it still works. The train motor of the last generation, first released in 2010, and this beautiful RC buggy motor, which is first released in 2002. Seeing them basically the first time, I really wanted to know what they are capable of in comparison with the very well known power functions motors. So I'll be testing it on this two-wheel drive buggy. It is pretty light since I'm going to use a single motor for powering the rear two-wheel drive with no differential. Uh, some of these motors are really depending on the weight of the model, so I think it will be pretty important. It has independent suspension on all wheels and front axle steering through the servo motor. So what I have planned is to plant a single motor on this baby and see how fast it can go. Uh, we've got a hole and I'll measure the time for which it crosses the hole and hits the other side. Should be very interesting, let's go. For the test I'll be using the Buvis 2.0 unit. Firstly I'll test the motors in normal mode which is equal to the power functions output using the rechargeable batteries and then I'll see how it goes on the ludicrous mode. So I have faced a few problems with the buggy motor. It has a lot of power, but for some reason it was unable to move the, this buggy. So I have decided to replace this buggy with this bad boy. It is slightly lighter. It has smaller wheels, which would help the buggy motor as well. They have almost the same weight, but, well, I will not speculate, let's just see how it goes. Mm. 
no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get the train motion moving on the ludicrous mode. Even on the normal it was slipping a lot. And that is not surprising actually since it doesn't have torque at all. But I was really surprised that the system 624 motor could move the model and received almost 100% increase with the ludicrous mode. XL motor also got a significant boost. Some people may say that the L motors get the most out of this voltage boost, but I would say that XLs are getting quite a lot as well. And the results are saying the same. The buggy motor seemed to receive the smallest boost of the motors on the ludicrous mode, since it has enough torque and speed already. Adding more voltage just makes the wheels spin faster with no traction and it makes controlling it enormously hard. I couldn't even get it to the finish line, I always did hit a wall or just fall over, so I had to make the measurements on the cross line in the hallway so I didn't get it crashed and the result actually was not so impressive. Pretty much uh, riding it in normal or even fast mode was already satisfying enough. In fact it was so hard controlling it that I couldn't get a better result on ludicrous mode than on normal mode. So this was a very interesting test, if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe, it helps me a lot. And I will let you enjoy the final moments while I was drifting this bad boy. See you soon, peace out.